Right, well, I'm hoping I have still got a reserve, otherwise I am screwed. <laughs> so I've just come down here now and I have run out of petrol and I know I should have filled up yesterday. Oh, please, almighty God. Don't do this to me now. It's my own fault. Should have bloody filled up. God be with me, or at least the God of bikes. Wow. Oh, yodely, yo, 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 and how is everyone doing? So, it seems so far my reserve is working. Uh, <laughs> I hope, because it started to spit. It's spitting! So guys, what I want to do is give a few shout outs. I've not done any for a while now, so now seems like a good time to do it. Holy shit. So first of all, I want to give a shout out to Niche Rider. I've been watching this for a while now, his channel, and I'm really enjoying it. Also, there is Louis Louis Mudda Vlogs. I think it's Louis as in Louis the King. I might be wrong. <laughs> but he seems like an awesome guy as well. And then... No! No and then! And then! 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 No! No and then! We have got Tank Snake. I find his videos very interesting, mainly for the fact that he lives in Japan and Japan has always fascinated me, it really has. Let's just pull in here, because I need some petrol. <laughs> oh my balls. Oh my balls. Oh my balls. Stick it in. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, there we go. Give it some. Give it some. Yeah, boy! I got me some fuel! And also, not forgetting Hunter Honda. I tell you, this guy is... Well, he's just fucking amazing, basically. <laughs> I've never, ever seen a motor vlogger shoot up through the subs so quickly in all my life. I really have not. I mean, he's at over, what, 60,000 subs? 60,000 subs! Wow! And I think he started in December, so that's just amazing, really, guys. That That's just wow. wow. You know? And I have to say, he is absolutely hilarious as well. His editing is spot on. So he does deserve the subs, you know. <laughs> he clearly puts the work in for it. And if you haven't checked out these wonderful, beautiful people, please go over to their channel. I'll put the links in the description. All you have to do is click on it and subscribe. So what I want to do now is show you guys my gear. Okay. So first of all, let's start off with my bag. So what I have bought is an RST bag. Yeah! Now it's a great bag to be honest with you and it actually does well in wet weather as well. I guess with like the lip over the zip it kind of helps a lot so that's been very useful I have to say. Oh, lift that up. And the best thing about it, it just cost me under 30 pounds. And then, and then, RST gloves. Now these cost me, I think it was just around about 45. I can't remember now, but I'm sure it's in my Facebook post somewhere. But yeah, RST gloves. I've always wanted a pair of RST gloves. Can you not tell that I love RST already? Yeah, I do. Uh, and they're so nice. So comfortable. 
and it's such nice movement inside of them if that's what it's called some great knuckle dusters there um, <laughs> yeah it's just fantastic to be honest with you uh, really it's really good and it just proves you don't have to spend a lot of money to get some decent quality stuff so next we have the RST jacket of course why not why wouldn't it be RST in fact the only thing that isn't RST is my trousers and my shoesy boots shoesy boots yeah they um <laughs> That's Frank of the Thomas. In fact, here we go. Look, there's the inside of the jacket. And that cost me, I think it was about 40... Or was it 60? No, it might have been 60 pounds, but that was in the sales. So that wasn't too bad as well. And it says it's waterproof, but yeah, I don't trust anything that says it's waterproof because if you get a heavy downpour, it almost always ends up drenching it right through. So, let's give you a look inside the package of my trousers. So this, the only thing I don't like about these trousers, and these cost me... Uh, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, and they... Uh, <laughs> just under £50. And yeah, you can't take the thermal lining out, which is a pain in the ass in the summer. I could just wear jeans, yes, I know, but I've seen too many people rip right through their jeans and into the flesh, so no thank you. And I don't really trust those Kevlar jeans either, so... Yeah. But I don't go for expensive stuff, basically, and you don't need to. If you're getting into biking, you don't need to get the full outfit of leather and just everything top branded it, yeah you don't need to especially if you're on a 125 it's kind of you know the chances of you having a top speed crash are extremely unlikely you know the <laughs> you're more than likely to have a crash at around about 35 miles per hour let's be honest here so what I'm wearing is good. It's got padding. It's got shoulder padding, elbow padding, no back padding, which is a shame. But that's enough for me. The uh, trousers have got knee padding. And the boots, these are just military boots, basically. And no steel... Uh, no steel... They have no steel toe caps, which is good because I think it's silly having steel toe caps in boots because you could end up bloody cutting your bloody toes off if you get it crushed so what's the point of that uh, and that's about it guys oh yeah not forgetting how could I even forget this my own helmet <laughs> bloody hell hang on let's take you off the sticky velcro there we go guys I don't know if you can see that yeah oh look at this you get a full 360 baby yeah full 360 Get some of that, baby. Oh, yeah. So it's a pretty decent helmet, guys. It's a shocks helmet. It's not the best helmet in the world, but it does the trick. And once again, that's cost me just under forty pounds as well. So <laughs> I am a very easy to please, shall we say? And don't get me wrong, I do want expensive levers of course who wouldn't and i would love to get all the top gear and be as safe as i possibly can be but there is an issue and it's called money <laughs> and hopefully one day when i get my big bike i will be getting the best quality gear that i can afford but i'll probably try and put some more money away for my protective gear than actually for the bike because at the end of the day <laughs> there's no bike without the rider is there let's be honest anyway guys enjoy looking at my sexy bike oh yeah oh give it to me oh I want to do you I want to do you hello guys again so if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe and also, if you haven't checked my previous video, please go and check it, and I'll put a link 
And this finger, okay, right through there, oh yeah. Click on that link, baby.